More than 20 years after the 9-11 terrorist attacks, the city of Bayonne pauses to reflect and pay tribute. We made a promise to never forget. Today, all of us in Bayonne stand together as one, as we did not forget. A group of first responders, past and present, along with families of those lost on September 11th, gathered outside Bayonne City Hall to unveil a new memorial that materialized from local donations. The two standing towers that depict the World Trade Center features a steel beam pulled from the rubble at Ground Zero. The memorial, which was originally expected to make its debut last year on the 20th anniversary of the attacks, was delayed due to supply chain issues. Officials hope the memorial's permanent home along Avenue C sparks conversation and reflection. To all the high school students, each and every one of you weren't even born when this happened. It's up to us to teach you what happened. The new 9-11 memorial is unveiled here in Bayonne just as the city made headlines with its other 9-11 memorial about three miles away. The September 11 teardrop memorial, which stands 10 stories high on the Bayonne waterfront, had a recent alteration in wake of the war in Ukraine. The monument was given to Bayonne by Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2005. His name and signature, once visible, has since been covered up. Some now even calling for the memorial's removal altogether. Mayor Jimmy Davis tells PIX11 permanently removing Putin's name is currently being discussed. The mayor says he's waiting on the Russian president's next move. If he does the right thing, gives Ukraine back their freedom, then we will discuss revealing his name again. Otherwise, if he doesn't, then we will discuss amongst ourselves on what was, how's the best way to permanently remove his name. In Bayonne, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.